Mixed Unit Tactics by Codis Kalanus. A book about the strategies of the Khajiit during the Five Years' War. The legions could learn from the unconventional tactics used by the Khajiit in the Five Years' War against Valenwood. I was stationed at the Sphinx Moth Legion Fort on the border near June and witnessed many of the northern skirmishes firsthand. The war started with the so called Slaughter of Torval. The Khajiit claim that the Bosmer invaded the city without provocation and killed over a thousand citizens before being driven off by reinforcements from a nearby jungle tribe. The Bosmer claim that the attack was in retaliation for Khajiiti bandits who were attacking wood caravans headed for Valenwood. In the spring of Third Era 396, the war moved closer to Fort Sphinx Moth. I was posted on lockout and saw parts of the conflict. I later spoke with both Khajiit and Bosma who fought in the battle, and it will serve as an excellent example of how the Khajiit used a mixture of ground and tree units to win the war. The Khajiit began the fight in an unusual way by sending tree-cutting teams of Kafeirat and the fearsome Senjurat, or Battle Cats, into the outskirts of Wellenwood's forests. When word reached the Bosmer that trees were being felled, allegedly a crime in the strange Bosmeri religion, a unit of archers were dispatched from larger conflicts in the south. The Bosmer were thus goaded into splitting their forces into smaller groups. The Bosmer archers took up positions in the remaining trees, whose branches were now twenty or more feet apart, allowing some light into the forest floor. The Bosmer bent the remaining trees with their magics into small fortifications, from which to fire their bows. When the tree cutters arrived the next morning, a half dozen Khajiit fell to the Bosma arrows in the first volley. After that, the Khajiit took large wooden shields from the backs of the Senjurat and made a crude shelter. The Khajiit, even the enormous Senjurat, were able to hide between the shelter and one of the larger trees. When it became apparent that the Khajiit would not leave their shelter, some Bosma chose to descend and engage the Khajiit sword to claw. When the Bosma were nearly upon the shelter, one of the Khajiit began playing on a native instrument of plucked metal bars. This was a signal of some kind, and a small group of the man-like Ohms and Ohmsrat emerged from covered holes on the forest floor. Although outnumbered, they were attacking from behind by surprise and won the ground quickly. The Bosma archers in the trees would have still won the battle were they not having troubles of their own. A group of Dagi and Dagirat two of the less common forms of Khajiit, who live in the trees of the Tenmar forest, jumped from one tree to another under a magical cover of silence. They took up positions in the higher branches that could not hold a Bosma's weight. When the signal came, they used their claws and either torches or spells of fire, accounts from the two survivors I spoke with vary on this point, to distract the archers while the battle on the ground took place. A few of the archers were able to flee, but most were killed. Apparently, the Dagi and Dagerat have more magical ability than is widely believed if they were able to keep themselves magically silenced for so long. One of the surviving Bosma told me that he saw a few ordinary cats among the Dagi, and even claimed that these ordinary cats were known as Alfik, and that they were the spellcasters. But Bosma are almost as unreliable as the Khajiit when it comes to the truth, and I cannot believe that a house cat can cast spells. At the end of the day, the Khajiit lost perhaps a half dozen fighters out of force of no more than four dozen, while the Bosma lost nearly an entire company of archers. The survivors were unable to report back before a second company of archers arrived, and this strategy was repeated again with similar results. Finally, a much larger force was sent, and the Bosma won that battle with the help of the native animals of Velenwood. That third skirmish and the Khajiit response I will discuss in the second volume of this series.